This Ramadan, subhanAllah, I got a few messages, we got a few messages and which were quite shocking to be honest. One of the messages we got and I'm going to read the messages for you inshallah because this will just uh, illustrate for you guys or show you guys how serious uh, of a situation some of the people are in and alhamdulillah for the fact that most people, most of Muslims are not going through this but it's still good to know about these issues so that we can know how to deal with this and we can uh, encourage such people into to come in closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this one sister a few weeks ago in this Ramadan, she messaged us saying hi. So she said hi, that was the first thing she said. Uh, and then she said, I'm a 19 year old girl. This is my last year of high school. Today I was invited to a party. Okay. I went to the party without bringing anything to drink. I fasted. And then she says, but I got drinks from my friends, so I opened the fast by drinking alcohol. Can you imagine that, brothers and sisters? You're in such a bad environment that you hang around with such kind of people who go to the clubs, go to parties and different things, but still you're fasting. You're a Muslim, you have some sort of Iman, some sort of belief in Allah Azza wa Jal, so you feel the responsibility to, you, to fast, that that is upon you. So you still keep on fasting. Maybe she even prays, Allah Alam. But then, because of the company you're with, the bad people you're with, they influence you to such an extent that they drag you to a party and they give you alcohol and you're there, you're nothing to drink, look around. You need to make the iftar, you're thinking the time of iftar is here, you're checking the app on your phone or whatever to know the prayer times, and then you drink khamr to open, to break the fast. SubhanAllah, just think about it. And then she says, what should I do now? I want to be a better Muslim, but I have so little self-control. I'm struggling to stop drinking alcohol when I'm outside. And then she keeps on saying a few similar things like she used to be better before. I used to always say no to drinking no matter how great the pressure was. But now I want to drink myself and I hate myself for it. Can you give me some tips about what to do is Ramadan? Um, yeah, I hope you can answer me. So that was the sister, a 19 year old sister struggling to maintain her deen. We say Alhamdulillah that she is still fasting. And we ask Allah Azza wa to empower her and to continue with, fa with these fasts of Ramadan which is obligatory upon her. At the same time for such people, we say to them SubhanAllah, why do you even put yourself in such a position? Why do you even keep such company which will cause you to go to nightclubs? I'll cause you to end up breaking a fast at a party by drinking khamr. Why are you even around such people? Because you need to make tawbah, you make istighfar, you make tawbah, you return back to Allah Azza wa Jal. And from the shuruts of tawbah, the criterion is that you make a firm decision to stop doing whatever you're doing. So, the way to do this is you cut all of this bad company, you remove from, from your life basically. You remove all this bad company, put it away from your life. Because we know the impacts of this and we've seen it so many times. The Prophet in an authentic hadith narrated by many of the uh, scholars and compilers of hadith, he said, That a person is upon, is upon the religion of his friends. So be very careful, like look very carefully about or upon who you're taking as your friends. So be very careful about who you're taking as your friends. Because you'll become upon the religion of your friends. And that's what's happened here. Maybe they're Christians, maybe they're atheists or something. But still, you're practicing whatever they are practicing. Maybe you're still a Muslim, Alhamdulillah, we say Alhamdulillah, you're still a Muslim. But still, because of your bad company, you started to do these uh, immoral things, these fawahish, these wrongdoings. So that's why we say that you need to keep good company. And instead of going to your friends, hanging around with them, go to the masjids. Whichever masjid is close to you, go there, go to the masjids and open up the fast in the masjid. Instead of, instead of going to nightclubs, instead of going 
to these places, these parties with all kinds of people doing all kinds of haram things and like drinking khamr, doing zina or whatever they're doing there. Instead of going to such places, we say Alhamdulillah you're fasting but we would like from you their sisters and any other sis their sister or any other sisters who are struggling or any brothers who are struggling with similar things or the same issue that you go to the masjid and you're with good people you make good friends you, you are, take as companions those who remind you of Allah and not those who cause you to be uh, forgetful about Allah so go to the masjid and uh, basically fix your company and inshallah ta'ala make tawbah to Allah and it will be khair and he will uh, accept your tawbah bi